I'm glad you could join me. What we're going to do now is we got this all taped off and marked out. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this about a half inch above the tape line. And then what I'm going to end up doing then is bending it in so I get a nice little base that makes it a little bit stronger for the next panel to be welded on. So here we go. Marked it out, marked it out about a half inch above, took this, there's your panel, won't be needing that anymore. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go along and put a couple slices and little cuts in it. Now I'm going to fold this in nice so I got a nice base to work with. Nice 90 there, or 45, or whatever it's going to be to the door. 
as long as it's square and going inside level. What I'm doing this for is mainly because it gives me more door to set the piece of panel on. If I went edge to edge, I'd have to have that thing exactly perfect. So if I go with this, I can put the panel in the air, I got room to move it around, I got a lot of base to weld off of. And actually this is coming out pretty nice. I can always tap it and hammer it. I'm going to go do the flat surfaces first. Because the corners get a little bit, a little bit more technical. This is something you can do to get a lot of your trucks, but like I said, you know, you got once the windows are gone though, you you know, you might not want to do it because of the window situation. You might not want to get totally blasted with water and mud and everything else all the time. So that could be the only downfall to doing this. I mean, when you do it, you pretty much commit your truck to doing one thing. That's ripping it up in the back country. We're going to want to uh, hit this with a grinder just because we want to be able to get the bare metal area there. Okay. All right. I pre got a panel kind of made up here. This panel goes right on the back side of the door. Nice. I'm going to get this thing to pop up right about there. I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I'm going to bend this all in, adjust this where we want it. That will give us our three, our door. We'll lay the panel in there and then we're, we're rolling. It's definitely nice to have some new material laying around, some new steel. But uh, I'm going to uh, take the same thing, cut some grooves in it, bend it over. And uh, we'll bring it back to the door. Oh, again, we got the panel all pre made up. We made it here on the. Uh, I'm going to set this right in here. Kind of get it where I want it. And then we're going to just roll it in. I think what I'm going to do though, before I go any farther, pull the door latch. The last time I pulled the door latch on the other side was kind of after the door was almost done. What we're going to plan on doing here eventually, we're taking the latches right out, it was like, what? what's going on? actually probably weld these doors right shut. So that's what our plan is. We're making basically a machine that's going to go anywhere we want it to go or whatever. Do 
get some things started here. We'll Thanks.